Now that you understand how to use conditions and loops, it's time for another checkpoint. This time, I'd like to try and tackle a classic computer science problem. It's not hard to understand, but it might take you a while to solve depending on your prior experience. The problem is called FizzBuzz. And it's been used in job interviews and university entrance tests and more for as long as I can remember. It goes like this. You need to create a playground where you loop from one through 100. And for each number in your loop, if it's a multiple of three, you want to print fizz. If it's a multiple of five, you want to print buzz. If it's a multiple of three and five, print fizz buzz. And for all other numbers, just print the number. Now, I'm gonna give you some sample output here so you can see what I actually mean. So if we pass one in for our loop, it should print one. It's not a multiple of three or five. Pass in two, we'll get two. Pass in three, of course three is a multiple of three, we should print fizz. Four should print four, but five should print buzz. It's a multiple of five. Then we have six, which will print fizz. Seven will print seven. Then we'll skip a few. Uh, Fifteen should print fizz buzz. That's a multiple of three and five. Then we'll skip some more. And finally, 100 should print buzz. So it goes up to and including the last number. Now, before you start, this problem seems extremely simple, but many, many developers struggle to solve it. I've seen it happen personally, and I want you to not stress about it, right? Just trying to solve the problem already teaches you about it. You know everything you need to solve this thing already with conditions and loops. But if you'd like some hints, I'll give you some of them in a moment. Again, please go ahead and try solving the playground yourself. Even if you don't manage, you will learn along the way. Still here? Okay, let's talk hints. First up, you can check whether one number is a multiple of another using is multiple of. So you might say i dot is multiple of three. Second, in this instance, you need to check for three and five first because it's the most specific. Then check for three, then five, and then finally have an else block to handle all other numbers. You can use ampersand ampersand to check multiples of three and five or use a nested if statement, depending on which one you prefer. And remember, you've got to count from one through 100, from one and 100, including both those values. So use dot, 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 rather than dot, dot, less than. Those are all the hints. Have fun.